Okay, something a little bit different today. Expect a lot of motion footage and it's just going to be a sort of rambly video. I'm at the station getting ready for a mission to pick something up. Something I can't believe I might be able to get for this price. One hiccup is that I'll have to spend two hours in a train and an hour in a bus to get there. So I did that. And after all that went smoothly, I got to the town I had to go to, which was close to the border with Belgium. I picked the item up and put it on my trolley. The seller kindly drove me back to the bus stop. I repeated the whole process, only this time with people staring at me and asking me what I was moving. Well, as most people will know by now, by looking at the item and from the title, is that I got myself a second pet. One person asked me if it was a laptop. Don't think you want this on your lap, but their interest in it was kind. Quick stopover at the airport to drink some tea with my friend Bianca and then continued on to my home. Well, first I had to wait a couple more minutes in the dark for the train driver to reboot this Sprinter train. This person summed it up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> but then we started moving and heading home, which also sparked happiness with our conductor. <laughs> By train and welcome pet. The way I tied the rope around the neck of the Commodore pet sort of made it seem like I kidnapped it. Still can't believe I got a second pet and for a decent price, a hundred bucks. In pet land, that is really cheap. Oh well, I also had to pay the Dutch railway quite some money as I'm not the type of person that doesn't pay, not pointing fingers. I opened the case, which was sealed a bit after being closed for such a while. And to my amazement found out it has a very cool, highly populated expansion board. With EEPROMs I can add to my online archive. Very cool. I felt like testing the computer real fast. It will need a clean and is probably a nice candidate for an episode of Computer TLC. I thought it didn't come with one of those sticks to hold it up, but it was hidden here. I removed the connector from the motherboard, as I feared I might fry some chips. Then I powered the power supply to test it. It all seemed okay. So now we'll do a smoke test. I turn it on and whoa, it works. What a lovely sight. Keyboard is also registering keys. Great. Just to be sure, double check the cassette port power and also that seems to be stable for now. Okay, wrapping up this short and rambly video. The second pet is great for my first pet, as that one developed some keyboard issues I cannot seem to fix. I'll show you more on that in an upcoming video, as well as spending some time with archiving some tapes. I'm excited to start tinkering and thank you very much for watching this short update. did not pay the ransom in time, we will now have to do something bad.